So are you unsure of what to do with those tomato suckers that you snip off because maybe you trim your tomato plants and you don't know what to do with them, you don't want to compost them, you just kind of feel like it's a waste to cut all those off? I have a solution for you that I just learned. So a tomato sucker is this one right here that comes up in the middle. So this is the main vine right here and then you've got these suckers that come up in between these side shoots. These are what you would pull off because these will actually make kind of like a new plant if you trim yours. If you let yours bush, then you don't have to worry about it. Now these I won't pull because they are kind of small, but some of these were really big, like this one. You can see I already took this one off pretty good size, and that's what is all down here. So these are all tomato suckers that I'm put in water, and we're gonna let those root. So I wanted a fall garden and so I planted tomato seeds and some other seeds as well. Now while they are starting to come up, we're in the middle of July, um, actually towards the end, we're in the third week, the end of the third week of July. So we've got another week of July and that's it. I'm in zone 6B so we do have a fairly decent growing season, um, but I've never planted tomatoes in the fall but I have the caterpillar tunnel that I'm going to try to get plastic on this year. And so that's where my tomato plants, I would like to put some of them out there just to see how far I could grow into the year. I actually don't have any red tomatoes this year yet. My garden, some of the stuff has really just not really done well. We had a weird season and now it's hot and humid and stuff is growing, but it took it a while. So let's find another sucker so I can show you that it will actually make this huge vine. So that right there in the middle is a sucker plant. And this, it just keeps going. So we can actually cut this off, which is what I will do. Kind of helps this plant. And then I have this. So I'll probably trim off these two lower branches. Trim this up a little bit, actually probably to right here. And then I will have this as a plant to see if it will root. That easy, I cl clipped that off. We're just gonna put that in the water there and I have some tomato plants, hopefully. So, as you can see, we're back in the greenhouse and um, I actually have quite a few plants in here. Now, some of these are smaller and some of these are pretty good size, so I'm hoping they will root. Now, one of the things I did do, I have some water out in one of my barrels and I used that water instead of our tap water because it does have uh, additives in it like chlorine. I can actually smell the chlorine sometimes in it. So I wanted to use that water just kind of where it would be more like rain water and just like a natural water that they're going to get all the time. So I'm just going to let this hang out and um, see and hopefully we get some roots before a week but I'm going to kind of see how many days maybe it takes them and then I will uh, update you on that. But let me know in the comments below if you've tried this, if um, maybe you hadn't thought of this before or if you do this all the time. All right, I'm hoping they'll be okay in here in the greenhouse. I'll just have to keep an eye on them, make sure they don't get too hot because it does get rather warm in here. But yeah, here's my other seeds. I've got some sugar pie pumpkins coming up. This is one little tomato plant coming up. So I mean, it's like, you know, tiny, tiny. So like I said, let me know in the comments below if you've tried this method, if you had success with it, if you do it all the time, whatever, or if you have any pointers. And as always, don't forget to be lovely lights today.